So in the last video we conquered a mountain, or at least we tried to. But in today's video I want to take things a little further, or I guess in this case a little higher. Today I want to see just how high we can go in scrap mechanics. So welcome back everyone, today we're going to try to build a rocket, or maybe a plane. I think a rocket might be a little easier. I'm not too sure though, I haven't really spent too, many time, uh, too much time with the thrusters, so this should be a little interesting. I did stumble across this place when filming the last episode, or the last video I should say, and I never quite went to check it out, and it does look like a launch pad of some kind, hence the whole idea of maybe building a rocket, and uh, not too sure what that is, it seems like maybe a satellite or an antenna. Let's get to building what might be a rocket. So, how would we go about that? The thrusters I believe do not need motors to be powered, so that's quite nice. So what we might do is we might just build ourselves a very very simple frame right now and just see what we can get from that. We obviously want to ride this thing so we'll put a few seats on here. Maybe actually do we need to ride this thing? I do want to see if you can power a thruster with just a switch. I don't know if you can so that would be a nice thing to test out right now. Let's put this down here, put down a switch and put down a controller. So can I link you? Oh wait, obviously, I don't think that can work. Can we try that though? Ah, that could work. Ah. So we don't actually need to be on the device to to use it. This also means that I can link it up to the thing and have different control. That's actually kind of handy. Okay, I'm learning it stuff every single time. So what we want to do is we want to kind of make this a little bit more balanced. Maybe I want it to... Do I want to face the sky or do I want to kind of ride it like a helicopter? No, I want to face this guy. We'll make this like a, a proper rocket. So we'll just maybe stick a few thrusters on the back here and just see what will happen. We obviously need to thrust ourselves upwards somehow. So you need to have a few uh, blocks up here just kind of pointing a thruster downwards. And this will actually be the ones that are activated via the switch. So that way we can kind of flip ourselves around and hopefully balance ourselves nicely. We'll have like this, something like this. And we'll put this here. And that way... If I connect all these to such and such, you will see exactly what I'm doing. Maybe. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing yet. But we will see. We'll see if we can make something out of this. So that way, when I want to go up, I'll use that. That'll tilt me upwards and then those should carry me into the sky. Though I feel I might be doing a few backflips here. So that, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Let's give this a try anyway. I mean, there's no harm in trying. Other than maybe losing where we are. But So let's press this key. There we go. Okay, so, and W controls them. Very nice. So if we go like that, yeah, nope. <laughs> kind of thought that might happen. Okay, th that was a pretty, pretty bogus plan. Let let's go with something maybe a little bit more stable here. Let's give ourselves a, a platform again to work with. Now, I, I do wish there was some way to delete vehicles. I don't think there is other than just simply removing all the parts from a vehicle. But um, there is no copy pasting either, which again would be something I would like to see but uh, maybe that'll come in the future. But uh, it, it is pretty simple to just remove everything anyway, unless you have a really complex build, but this is fine. So let us go back over here. What we will do is we'll put ourselves a little seat down somewhere in the center here. And we, I mean, we can just redo the lift anyway, but uh, we just want to give ourselves a basic frame yet again, and we will see what we can do from that. Actually, I do want to try something really, really basic. Now this is not really rocket science, I guess, but if I remove the lift, put the lift back down, like so, I do want to try... Okay, this might be really, really simple, but it might actually work. So I'm putting bearings a little off-center here. Now what I want to do is I want to stick a thruster on these bearings. Now this will give me some slight rotary control, and the thing is, if I rotate fast enough, we won't actually become off-balance. So, I mean, that's my idea anyway. I don't know if that'll work, or if this game will allow me to do that. But if it does, that'd be kind of cool. So, my idea is, yes, rotate the thrusters to a point where I shouldn't be too off balance. This seems like it might actually work. Okay, so, connect everything together. So we want to connect all these to the steering wheel and have the, these on the same axis, or the same rotation, which they seem to all be already, which is nice. Okay, and then we connect all these to this as well. Very, very simple, but this might actually work. And there we go. Okay, so will this actually work? I don't know. We got left and right, like we'd expect, and 
We can thrust upwards. We're not actually falling over anywhere, so we might be okay. Wow, okay, let's see. Let's just see if we can fly ourselves to the moon or the sun, I guess. There's not really a moon around the place. Uh, who cares? Let's try. Uh, I will rotate. And... This is actually working. Reminds you of the, uh... Was it a Chinese man that strapped rockets to his seat and tried to fly like this? I wonder how high we can go. This looks really cool, though. Oh. <laughs> Did we just go spaghetti? Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. I'll do this again. Please. Please go spaghetti. Yep. <laughs> okay. The game has spaghetti physics. Oh, that is lovely. I didn't... <laughs> I wasn't expect. I mean, I guess I kind of was expecting a ceiling, but I wasn't expecting the whole spaghettification thing. That was actually kind of funny. Where are we going to end up today? Actually, almost like right near where we started. That was pretty damn close. No way to stabilize this though, so um, that was kind of a little bit of a, a fail, but we can build onto this though. I believe we can make this a little bit better, maybe. Maybe a few stabilizing thrusters here and there to make this a little, little easier, a little nicer. Maybe you make a plane out of it, that'd be kind of cool. But, um, okay, let's see what we can see what we can actually do with this. I was thinking maybe, I mean, if I have thrusters here, will this limit how far this rotates? Let me just quickly put some on the other side just for balancing reasons as well. So, if I do that, are you really limited in how you turn? Oh, wait, I have to get off the lift. That is one thing, you can't test out how objects work when you're on a lift, so you'll have to remove the lift like so. And it doesn't seem, oh, it does. It does impede it just a little bit. Not so much, though. So what I'm thinking of doing... I mean, we already have rotation, so it's not like we really need need these for rotation as well. But we'll put this back on the lift here so we can play around with this. If we get rid of this now, what we kind of want is we want forward thrust and we want some sort of stability. So, how would we get forward thrust without affecting any of the ship? We would go over here like so. Oops, didn't want to go third person. Sorry about that. We, yeah, we put these on, on here. Just make it a little nicer. This might not work at all because this might be completely off balance. But maybe if we put some on the front, we can then kind of balance that out weight wise. That seems like a good idea. We, we might not even use these, but at least we can have them here for the sake of being here anyway. So, let's go with something like this. I mean, this is already looking kind of cool. Uh, maybe not functional, but. It definitely has the cool factor going for it. We might not even need the other thrusters to rotate. For example, like th these ones here, we might not need to rotate at all just for balance reasons. So we might actually consider getting rid of these and just putting these here as just simply upwards thrust. So get rid of that, get rid of you, go back on this. And that way we only really use one for steering. That's the front and the back, which seems okay in my mind. So let's do this here. So, the game has now been released, I believe, at least the time at least when this video will come out. So, for anyone out there who has either watched both these videos or who has purchased the game, what do you guys think of the game and its current state? Anyway, that question aside, let's connect these things here and just see how this goes. Actually, that's not what I want to do. I mean, th this, yes, is what I want to do for lift, but for these here, I want to have these on different buttons because this is going to be my, my thrust of ways. So. We'll put these here for weight reasons, and we'll put some on the front as well to balance it. And then what we'll do is we'll assign only a few of these. So, for example, uh, this one here will be for the front ones. We'll assign you and you. Ah, uh, perfect. And then that is going to be one for reverse. And then we'll assign these here for the acceleration. And that should be... Oh, hang on, sorry. That should be two. Okay, so this maybe will work. So two one and we have the, the rotating and we have up oh god this no this this won't work because if i thrust hang on yeah i was thinking that might be the issue <laughs> if i if i thrust in one direction we're going to murray we're flying no that's not working at all oh should probably turn it off there we go okay so we need we need balancing we need some way to keep this thing from not tipping over which is our current issue maybe when these activate we have like some sort of maybe downward thruster or something that kind of keeps us balanced i'm not too sure i don't think there is aerodynamic so i don't think having things like wings would work necessarily that would be kind of cool if it did 
But hang on, so if we had thrust from coming from that side and we flip upwards, would it make sense to have something on the front for maybe... I mean, we could like put on a slight wing. Not, not just for the, the sake of being a wing, but more or so for being uh, s s simply some sort of weight, basically. We will have weight on the front, that way when we do try to go forth, it won't be so weird and wacky. Maybe. We'll, we'll give this a try just to see. So basically, yeah, we're just kind of off-centering the weight just a little bit. Also, one thing I don't like is having to build my own platforms. Now, I know there is a lift, but you only have one of them. So having to build stuff like this to kind of look around is a little a little annoying to say the least. So we have this little thing here, kind of a little bit of a wing. Not much of one, but hey, it will do. We go out by two more blocks, I believe. Two, and then, okay. So one, two. Yeah, the music kicks in again. How lovely. I do like the music in the game, it's very cheerful, to say the least, anyway. So, you go out by... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, and I think that actually might be it. Let me just quickly double check to make sure our symmetry is on point. And also, a symmetrical building would be nice too. But, uh, there isn't any of that either. There we go. So this might be, this might be okay for a, um, actually maybe those thrusters would be better from the wings. So I'm, I'm just thinking like, yeah, I don't know, maybe. Okay, that's definitely not the, um, yeah, see, because, okay. Oh, that might actually, hang on. No, we're not flying the right way. No, we're going completely offside. Okay. You know what, maybe I need to think about this a little bit more before I make a, um, a flying vehicle. Okay, so clearly that last plane wasn't exactly going to work, so I kind of wanted to build off the same idea that I did with the first rocket seat, and that was the whole rotary type of thrusting mechanic that gave us a decent amount of balance. So I introduce you to this abomination. It kind of is like a helicopter, but maybe not so much. Now, if we get into the wiring, I, I probably should have showed you guys the building process behind this, but I kind of didn't because this wasn't something I was too sure that would actually work until I finished it. So, here we have quite a lot of wiring. Now, a lot of this connects to the seat here for the purpose of steering and thrusting. So, it's it's fairly simple in how it works. And on the back and the, the sides here, we have a few thrusters. Now, what we have here is a motor in the center to allow this to rotate automatically. At least it should when I press W. So we have these spinning around in a circle whilst also tilted and thrusting at the same time. This should give us a fair amount of balance and hopefully try to keep us maybe a little bit level headed here. I have added a bit of weight to the back to kind of maybe balance it though I'm not too sure if this really works right now. So let's give it a try shall we? Let's get inside the front seat here and just see exactly how this thing works. So, if I press W now, we should see... Yeah, we'll see a little bit of a spin with these. Not so much though, hang on. They should be spinning a little bit more than what they are, which they already asked it to a little high. So let's let's bring this up a little bit more here and just see what we can do with it. Ah, there we go. That's a little nicer. And we actually seem to be flying pretty much vertically. So, let's get the spin going and see if we can take this baby off. Here we go. Oh, this, no, okay, we're kind of falling, kind of falling, a little, a little, a little falling, oh, yep, no. No. <laughs> you know, maybe I should have stopped thrusting after a certain point, but uh, I was a little too, a little too eager to keep going with my idea. Let's, no, we're not going to stabilize this, we're going to get stuck, aren't we? Oh, we're dead. Yeah, kind of what I, kind of what I expected. Let's, uh, let's bring this thing back back down on the lift here and just have a little look again. So the one thing I didn't use were the thrusters on the back here. I only just started these uh, right at, at like the last second here. So to use these is pretty simple. If I zoom out here, if I press one, that gives me that sort of rotation. So I can do it to kind of angle myself a little bit nicer and give myself that. Oh my God, this is amazing. We have built ourselves a helicopter that I can't fly. Not in the slightest. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. Hey, we got a treehouse. Cool. Uh, <laughs> no, no, what I was looking forward to doing, but um, yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get out of this one. 
This looks so cool though. We're in a tree. Hang on. Let oh no. Okay. That uh, that. Yep. It's gone. Uh. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get that out of there anytime soon. So, we tried. We 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 conquered in in a way, kind of maybe. Uh. And I think we didn't do that bad of a job. So, I'm going to leave this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I had a lot of fun building. Uh, this game is actually really quite a lot of fun. Especially when you get into some slightly more complicated things. So, that in the end turned out quite nice. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome, everyone.